Hello everybody, here I'm back today with a war game called Red Winter. Um, it describes uh, the Soviet attack on the Tolva Yerviv um, area in Finland, which took place from the 8th to the 12th of December in 1939. So it's you can play this um, as a campaign through all the four days, or you can also use the different uh, smaller scenarios um, in the playbook. Um, I will just do a brief breakdown on the components. The book comes with, uh, the game comes with a rule book, and this is the copy that I downloaded because I like to have a copy of the rule book because I tend to, you know, mark stuff and I would never do that in the original. Then you have the playbook, which clocks in at 54 um, pages or even more than that. Um, I have to say, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's got everything that I want from it. It's got the scenarios, it's got um, optional rules and variants. All of the um, designer notes are in here and all of the historical background is in here. And what I also love is they have included um, the, the, the images as well. So that makes it really, really vivid. I like the way it's set up, um, very clearly um, laid out, easy to follow. The same goes for the rules, which are highly accessible, um, really well done, brilliant. You also will notice that there is only one counter sheet. So this is a game that is not very heavy on counters, which is nice for a change. And um, when you have too many counters, sometimes, um, you know, people will even fold at the very beginning going, oh my God, this is, I'm never going to be able to master this. So um, from, a, from a sheer counter perspective, this is very, very small. Most of the counters are actually... Um, troops. There are some information counters here, um, so I'm going to punch them in a second. Uh, the game also comes with a quick start guide, getting started, um, and on the back of that is a um, tutorial scenario called uh, First Folly, which is a hypothetical scenario which um, runs through three turns, which is what I'm going to set up in a bit, and I'll play that one. Um, you also have <coughs> dice that come with it, um, two blue ones and two red ones, um, your normal baggie, and of course you have um, your GMT greetings card. This was um, assembled by Sam, so thanks Sam for putting this all together. Um, I'm just going to move the camera a little. So over here, I've already set this up so I can't really show you very well. You have um, two player aids. Um, each player gets the same aid card. Um, seeing as I'm playing against myself, I've just taken them, put them um, one side up, the other side up. And then you have a turn track over here. Um, this game is very special for me because I have a signed copy of the rule book. Now, um, the background to this is that a friend of mine, um, Fushigi Meimi, you, ne you definitely know her, um, her channel, um, she's also on the big board, um, she lives in the same city as the uh, author of this, of this game, and she just happened to um, meet him, I don't even remember how they, how they met, but um, she basically met up with him and she asked him to sign her copy of the game and then said to me oh guess what he he signed my copy and i said well if you we ever meet him again do you think he would sign my my rule book and she said oh sure no problem so she met up with him again and he signed my rule book so mark thank you very much i'm very proud of this i will hold on to this forever so um this is just a brief intro to red winter i'm just going to show you the box as well because the box art is beautiful um i really really love it it's it's just absolutely smashing. I mean, this box is awesome. So, yeah, um, this is what I'm going to be playing over the next couple of weeks. And um, I'm f I'll finish up here and I'll let you know how I'm getting on. Bye.